In this training video, we'll be talking about how to set up your Outlook 2003 email client for those CFAITH email account holders who are utilizing an IMAP account setting. Remember, IMAP allows you to see a mirrored copy of your email messages. One copy is left on the CFAITH mail server, another copy you pull into a different email client such as Outlook 2003. So we'll be talking about how to make those settings so your email will flow into Outlook without any problem. And to begin, we'll start from the CFAITH homepage where we're going to log in to our new CFAITH or Gmail account and make some settings. So I'll click on the ISP email link on the main menu, then click on email, then we're going to click the login to webmail link right there at the top. You'll recognize this as our new CFAITH webmail login page. So go ahead and put your username in this first field, being careful to only put in your username. Do not put in the at cfaith.com part behind it. After that, your password is needed as normal. Then click sign in. Once you're logged into your new CFAITH webmail account, go up here to the top right corner and click on settings. Then we're going to click on the link here in the middle, forwarding and pop slash IMAP. Then we're going to go down here to the IMAP access section. What you want to do is make sure the radio button is clicked next to enable IMAP. Once that is done, click save changes. And we're done with the Gmail part of this process. So I'm going to minimize this window and now pull up my Outlook 2003 email. I happen to have it up in a separate window. If you don't have yours uh, run running yet, go ahead and start that. And when you have your email pulled up, go to the top menu where it, go, where it says Tools, then go down to Email Accounts. On this page, click the radio button View or Change an Existing Email Account, and then click Next. Now you may have more than one email account listed in your lineup. We're going to select the one that we will be making this change for. In this case, for this training video, I'll be utilizing this mail.cfaith.com email account. So select the one you're going to adjust, highlight it with one click, and then click the Change button. All right, here is the page we'll be making some of the changes. Starting at the top right corner in the Incoming Mail Server field, we're going to highlight the entire section that is there and replace it with imap.gmail Dot com. In the next section, in the outgoing mail server field, we are only going to highlight the word CFAITH in this case and replace it with the word Gmail. Everything else remains the same. smtp.gmail.com. When you're done with that, you don't need to make any changes over here. Just go ahead and click the More Settings button. And on this window, you'll notice there are four additional tabs for options. We're going to start with the last one, the Advanced tab. Once you click on that, we're going to highlight the number in the Incoming Server field and replace it with the number 993. We're also going to check the box right below it. The server requires an encrypted connection. Then highlight the number that is in the Outgoing Server field and replace it with 465 and also click this box. This server requires an encrypted connection. After that, we're going to click right about in the middle for the server timeouts to make it around four to five minutes. Anywhere in there is fine. Click on that, when you, and then when you are done, go up here to the Outgoing Server tab, and make sure that this box is checked. My Outgoing Server requires authentication. And if, if it is not checked, go ahead and check it. Then you are done, click OK. We're back on the previous window where we made some changes. Go ahead and click Next. And then once more on Finish. That is the adjustments that are needed. If you want to test it now, all you need to do is go ahead and click your Send and Receive button at the top and your mail should start flowing into your general inbox. Of course, you can create some secondary accounts or folders if you wanted to set up some rules to route your mail to specific folders. But that is how you make sure your IMAP account in Outlook 2003 is properly set up.